monogramming borders. The border option will normally be used in conjunction with the lettering feature or even designs from our library. In this example, I'll focus on the borders as a standalone design. After selecting the lettering slash monogramming option from our main menu, select monogramming and then the border tab in our properties box on the right of screen. From here we can add a border from the library. Our selection can be changed at any time with the change tab. The offset value makes more sense when the border is surrounding some lettering or other object, but it does serve to reduce the size of the border. From the line type, we can select single run, triple run, motif, satin or 3D satin. Each line type has its own set of properties, which can be controlled in the advanced property settings. The single run and triple run have similar values, that is the stitch length and variable run, which will allow the length of stitches to be shortened if the shape has very tight arcs. For example, in the tighter arc of the S-type border. I have chosen the 4mm long stitch, which is fine along the straights of the shape, but you can see in the tighter arcs the stitches are not following the vector shape, which is represented by the red line. By applying the variable run feature, you can see the stitches are shortened when necessary to follow the vector line more closely. The Motive Run offers many different shapes. And their properties include the width, height and spacing of each motive. You can choose from the categories drop down black work, black work 2, candle wicking or single motives. If it's a filled area you are after, click the fill type radio button and from that drop down make your choice. Again, the Properties box will allow you to adjust the properties of the particular fill you have chosen. Here's a tip for you. If you wish to place a border around your fill, Duplicate the filled area by using the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl D, or under the edit menu, select duplicate. Then while the new object is selected, select line type. You can change the aspect ratio and rotate any of the objects we have created with the drop downs in the advanced section of the monogramming dialog box. Please take your time to experiment and practice these settings and create your own unique designs. Stay tuned for more features in the monogramming feature of the software. Thanks for watching.